Cerrado um, here at NAM 2009. Uh, we have uh, two new big products out, two new updates. Uh, one is for Scratch Live, we're up to Scratch Live version 1.9, and the other is uh, Video SL 1.1. So first of all, I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, Scratch Live version 1.9. I think the uh, the biggest news, the thing that people are most interested in, is the sample player. So what we have here is a uh, six-slot sample player. Um, you can low tracks up into them, individual little hits, drum hits, loops, full tracks even. Uh, in this case, I've got a um, I've got three different uh, full tracks in here, but I've just got some cue points set. I'm going to use uh, the keyboard to trigger them. They're also fully MIDI assignable, so you can set up your MIDI pads, that sort of thing. Uh, but let me just show you how it works with the key uh, the keyboard. So I've just got a, like a little sample in here. And hit that, trigger that off the keypad. Um, there's a few different playback modes. You can either have it just play the whole thing, or you can have it play until, well, rather, while you hold the key down. Or you can have it play until you press stop. Um, and you can also repeat the. Um, the sample that's in the sample player, like in this case here, I've set a little loop. And that's just going to keep looping. And you'll notice that um, that track there is actually uh, what was loaded up on the deck here. Uh, and so what I've done is I've just set a normal loop and it will just play that loop out of the file. Um, in other cases, you can load a track up here, set a cue point, and then when you put it in the sample player, it will play from the first cue point. Uh, each of them, each of the sample players, each of the slots rather, has an individual gain control. You can see here, and a level meter. And also down here, there is a master gain. Uh, and you can choose whether you want the output to go left, right, or mix. Uh, if you have it through the mix, it'll always come out no matter where the crossfader is. So that's a little bit about the uh, sample player. Uh, next up, I will show you uh, loop roll, which is a new effect that we have uh, in Scratch Live 1.9. I imagine that um, Scratchworks readers might know about the Easter egg that we had in version uh, 1.8. Uh, loop roll is now a, an official feature rather than an Easter egg as it was in 1.8. So what you do is uh, you set your track a playing. Let me start that from the start. And then control option. And what that does is it uh, just repeats the bit that you have set in your auto loop, but when you let go, it pops out to where it would have been if you hadn't done the loop. So you can make some pretty cool effects with that. Um, what else we got here? Uh, one thing that um, uh, I don't actually have any album art loaded in these tracks, but uh, one thing that um, a lot of people have been asking for us is better use of album art. Um, so what we've done is we've added, you see here when you have album art, unfortunately I don't have a track here with album art, but um, it will display a small icon of the track, of the album art for the track that you've got loaded, which means that you can you know, more instantly recognize what it is that you have loaded. That's pretty cool. Um, what else we got here? Um, actually, let me pause. I'll be right back. We're talking about Scratch Live. Let me hear about... Hey there, this is Sam from Serato. I'm here at NAM uh, 2009 for Scratchworks TV. Uh, we're going to show you something a little bit about what we got coming up with.
Scratch Live version 1.9 and Video SL version 1.1. So the first thing I'm going to show you is Scratch Live 1.9 and I think the big news, uh, the most popular new feature is the sample player. So if you have a look at the screen here, you see I got this button that says sample player and I open that up and that reveals a six slot sample player. Uh, you can load all sorts of sounds in there. I've got individual hits, I've got loops, uh, I've even got some drum sounds. You can play it like a drum machine if you want to get into that. Um, it's controllable by the keyboard but also fully MIDI assignable. So um, in this case, uh, let's see, I've got a kind of classic air horn sample uh, and I can control that with the keyboard. All right. Um, the uh, keyboard shortcuts are all down here. I got X Y, sorry, Z X C B B N are the six samples. But as I said before, you can also MIDI assign those. Um, each of the uh, sample slots has a different, has three different playback modes. So for example, uh, the one I just had there is like a one-shot mode. You hit it and it'll play all the way through. The other option is it'll play while the, while the key is pressed or the MIDI pad is pressed. And then the third option is that it will play until you uh, decide to stop it. Uh, you can also uh, repeat, uh, so if we go down here you'll see there's a little bit of a repeat button there, so for example I've got a loop here, some hi-hats, and that'll just keep going. Uh, you can combine things to actually layer things up and if you want to you can make a little bit of a You can layer things up and make a little bit of a beat down there. You can also, um, let me just stop that for a second. You can also put a whole track in there, for example, if you want to uh, put an acapella in one of the slots and play it, and then you can like play a couple of different instrumentals over the top on the two turntables. That's pretty cool. Each one's got individual um, gain control and a level meter. Uh, and there's also down the end here a universal gain control and an output select. You can have it coming out the left channel or the right channel or out of the mix so no matter where the crossfader is it will keep playing. So um, the other thing about the sample player is they're just playing straight tracks out of your library. So for example the air horn, uh, if I were to load that up onto the uh, left side You'd see that that's just a short sample uh, with a cue point set. The first cue point is set right at the beginning of the sample. If the cue point is set, that means it'll play from that point straight away. And likewise with the with a loop down here, that's just a loop. Uh, let me get that one up. That's just a loop set at the beginning of that track. And if there is a loop there, the first loop it will play that loop when it's played in the sample player. So that's pretty cool, that's something people have been asking us for a long, long, long time. So we've had that on our list of things to do for quite a while. We're very, very happy that that's out now. 